What's up guys, it's Future Next K, aka Copy K, and today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, it's going to be all about my rehab clinical rotation. So, I decided to do a series of my clinical rotations once I complete a clinical rotation, like a full clinical rotation. <laughs> then I'm going to get on here and I'm going to do a video about it because I know a lot of people who are pre-nursing students or nursing students or some nurses still have no idea what their passion in nursing is. So you can ask a lot of nursing students, a lot of pre-nursing students, they know that they want to be a nurse but what type of nurse they have no idea. So I decided to make a series of my clinical rotations to tell you guys a little bit about how my experiences was, if I liked it or not, so you guys can kind of get the gif before you go inside of this clinical site. And also, um, if you guys if you guys can probably listen to one of my stories or listen to what I got going on, you're like, oh my gosh, I like that. Like, I want to look more into that. Or you can be like, okay, just based off what she said, I know for a fact that that ain't what I want to do. <laughs> so... Anyways, if you guys are interested in hearing how my rehab clinical rotations went, then keep on watching. And also, comment down below if you guys like this series and you want me to continue. Alright you guys, so a lot of people who think about the rehab floor, they think about rehab, like rehabilitation centers. Um, you think of probably drugs, alcohol, that type of thing. But no, <laughs> it is not. Well... Most of the time, those patients go to like psych wards because they have to be on like a behavior hold and then they have to get medically cleared. So a lot of times that is through like a psych hold. So you pretty much wouldn't see drug addicts, alcohol, um, alcohol addicts, is that what it's called? You stupid. I don't know, alcoholics. <laughs> alcoholics, those type of things on this floor. Um, unless it was like a person that was an alcoholic and then they started to have liver complications and different stuff like that. And then you might see, and they might have had surgery on the liver and on here, but on this floor. But anyways, this floor pretty much consists of patients that have come out of surgery. So, um, or like, for instance, you have a lady who had hip replacement, total hip replacements, or um, an amputee, or somebody who has got skin grafts, or something like that. So, well, skin grafting could probably be more so be on a med surge floor, but some type of, they have to have some type of situation that they would have to regain the strength in that particular spot. So, for instance, if you have somebody with i don't even know y'all i'm trying to explain it the best way I, example i could come up with is like a total hip replacement so okay so you have a patient uh let's say a 74 year old female she's able to walk around maneuver everything one day while she got up to go to the bathroom late at night she fell okay she broke a hip called on one they put in the emergency room um, they realized, they did an x-ray, realized her hip was broke, and then they admitted her, got into surgery the next day, and now she has to heal from her surgery. So those are the type of patients that would be on this floor. Um, a lot of people mistake rehab for becoming good at new. Rehab is not to get you where you were before your incident. Um, rehab is to help you coincide with your incident. So, for instance, this lady, if we're going to use the lady again as an example. So, she was able to walk around. She was able to drive. She was able to ride by. Let's just say, you know, it's some pretty in shape 74-year-old. You know, she's able to do whatever, right? And then, once this accident happens, she asks you, like, hey, will I still be able to do two-mile uh, runs? Or, you know, will I be able to still use exercise the same and blah, blah, blah. Oh, they might be like yeah you might be able to walk around but now you would have to use a walker as before you wasn't using a walker so it might be a drastic change where they may be like oh, well you'll never be able to walk again which you know <laughs> i'm just using these as an example not to say that that is actually what would happen but you know 
or they can say oh yeah you'll be fine you just need a cane and you know so basically what i'm trying to get at is rehab is not to get you brand spanking new rehab get you to the best you giving your in capabilities at this point so you know you might not be able to do a couple of things that you were able to do beforehand but anyway so now that i kind of gave you guys a spill of rehabilitation what's pretty much on the floor the difference from that and like drug rehabilitation and alcoholism and stuff like that um i'm gonna give you guys my personal experience on the rehab floor so first and foremost no i do not want to be a rehabilitation well i do not want to be a rehab nurse um and the reason why it's nothing against it it's nothing against it but okay so on um, my clinical day the rehab floor was in the hospital upstairs so it was another part of the hospital upstairs whatever so when you go up there you have you your patients, physical therapists, occupational therapists, um, the doctors are pretty much coming in and out. Um, so, and I love the doctors coming in and out. And that's one thing that I do like as a nurse because I feel like I have a lot of questions. So for me to frequently see the doctor, that stops me from being able to have to call them constantly and say, hey, da 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 da. Like if they're constantly in that patient room, I'll be like, when they come in, I can ask them as many questions as I want. And then whatever. But anyways, you have so many people that's on the floor with you and that's giving total care to your patient so and i don't really like that so i really like to have my one-on-one -on -one with my patients um and for you guys who don't know i'm a patient care tech in the emergency room so i'm kind of talking from experience <laughs> of how i like to be with my patients and also the how I feel like I would like to be as a nurse. So as a nurse, I feel like I would really like the one-on-one -on -one with my patient. Um, don't get me wrong, I really, really love the fact that everybody is a team, we're so helpful. If one person doesn't do it, this person does it, and da 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 um, If the patient has a bowel movement, you know, you have help. The occupational therapist probably changed and stuff like that. But I feel like, cause everybody is constantly on your patient i feel like i would get confused a lot <laughs> because say for instance my patient asked me to do something right they say hey can i have such 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 can you give me this da, da, da. And i'm like okay i'll go grab it and you know i get sidetracked with another patient and then i remember okay let me this patient such and i go get all this stuff and it takes me like and I'm like really, really busy, but I stop what I'm doing, go get the stuff for my patient, and then I come back in the room and somebody's already done it. I know that that is helpful to a lot of people, but for me, it would throw me off so much. Like, comment down below if you guys get what I'm talking about, or if you guys are like similar to me. Because, like, if there's so many people doing the same thing at one time, like, it would just throw me off. Like, I'd be like, okay, what do I need to do next? Let me go see if they already did it. Let me go see. Like, I don't like that. Like, I like to know that I gotta come in, I gotta get my meds, I gotta do, 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 do and get it done like if people are if i got five things to do for one patient and i said okay first off i'm a planner i like to plan how my day is going to go i like to plan how i'm gonna do stuff i like to talk myself through stuff so if i got my mind made up to do everything this way and then somebody comes in and does half of it or does two or three things it's gonna mess <laughs> everything that i have up so and that's another thing honestly on these rehab floors you're honestly always you're constantly giving medication you're constantly like 
all day long you're pretty much giving medication because these patients are constantly asking for pain masks because like i said they just came out of surgery you're constantly having to watch different things because patients that come from invasive procedures they are at risk for infection so you have to watch a lot of things um a lot of these patients have other underlying diseases so you also have to watch watch that patients that are diabetics you have to watch their glucose levels because um surgery can cause stress on them and it's just so much that you have to watch like i know um there was a patient that was weighing one thing when like when they were first there and then the next few days that patient was weighing way like five pounds more than what they started as so you have to pay attention to that because that can mean something's going on with their heart that can mean something's going on with their kidneys so it's just like you have to go look at their labs <laughs> so it's just like you have to be very very watchful of these patients which you have to be watchful of a lot of patients but it's hard to do that when you got so many other people coming in you know and it's like okay what's been done what hasn't been done and then another thing is that like i said there's physical therapists and occupational therapists that are also on those floors so your patient has set times like block periods of where they will go and deal with occupational therapists or they'll go and deal with physical therapists so say for instance they might have physical therapy from 10 to 2 then they might have occupational therapy from 4 to, to 5 and it's just like everything that I need to do for this patient I have to find time in between them going to this therapist that therapist to be able to do it so it's just like it's too many it's too many people intertwining with one patient and you know it's kind of hard to say okay this patient goes here at this time this patient goes here at this time so I need to give them all their meds before they go pain medications before they go do therapy I need to do this I need to do that but then you have all these other patients that has to go as well you got to make sure you got to get everything done for them as well so I just feel like the rehab floor my main disadvantage of the rehab floor is that there are so many people working on one patient and it can throw you off especially when you have so much to do for a particular patient and they're gone for hours at a time with therapists you know what i mean so that's just my little spill of the rehab floor short little spill um comment down below i hope comment down below if you guys are interested in being a rehab nurse i know my con of the rehab floor a lot of people probably would like so yeah just let me know if you guys are interested in maybe being a rehab nurse don't forget to like comment and subscribe i hope what i was saying made sense when i watch this back i'm gonna be like girl you said the same thing like 20 times what are you talking about but <laughs> anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video um even if you're not thinking about being a rehab nurse you can still watch this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and without further ado they have injuries you know when you're in pain and you're not feeling good you don't want to get up you don't want to do things you don't want to do nothing you just want to lay in bed so you have to be mindful when you think about these patients like they don't want to do anything they're sluggish they they might be able to do it but they don't want to do it so you have to really push your patients and that's what the therapists are there for and everything um also but it can be very stressful when you have people that are in pain they're not going to want to cooperate so um overall with the patients overall my view on the patients is the patients can be very dependent and the the patients can be very uncooperative sometimes um until it starts to get to the point where they're starting to get better but you know it can be very hard to deal with uncooperative and <laughs> um 
grouchy patients because they're in pain and then um as far as the working you're constantly getting meds all day so you're constantly interrupting their sleep patterns and then you constantly have to race the clock to make sure that you don't miss giving them what they need to have before they go to therapy like if there was any floor that i would get behind on it would probably be the rehab floor <laughs>